Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 266. That is, do we write test cases for sanity testing? Let me answer. First of all, what is sanity testing? Okay, before I answer whether we have to write test cases for sanity testing, let's understand what is sanity testing. Okay, when there are any code changes done by developer in the software, the impacted areas need to be tested in depth. Okay, that is what is sanity testing. As part of sanity testing, we test the impacted areas because of this code changes done by developer in depth guys. Okay, that is sanity testing. Okay, so what may be the code changes that may be done by developer in the software so that the other areas of the software or the areas where code changes happened got impacted. Okay, the reasons may be new feature incorporation. Okay, developer may try to incorporate a new feature into the software because of that the areas may get areas of the application functionality may get uh, impacted and also sometimes we have to modify the existing ones okay upgrade or modify change okay according to the client or customer requirements we have to update the software okay so in that case also code changes will happen and the areas of the software will get impacted sometimes we remove the unnecessary features in the software okay so then also code changes will happen and areas will get impacted and last thing is bug fixing okay once the software testers uh, report the defects or bugs okay then the developers assigned developer has to start fixing this defect okay after fixing the defect or while fixing the defect the code has to be changed right as part of fixing the defect the code changes and because of that code change due to this bug fixing the areas of the application functionality may get impacted so if you know the areas of the application which got impacted due to this code changes because of any of these reasons that areas of the application need to be tested in depth as part of sanity testing the impacted areas of the application need to be tested in depth because of this code changes as part of what testing sanity testing that's why we call sanity testing as a subset of regression testing in regression testing because of this code changes you don't compromise any area of the application okay complete functionality of the application you think that there may be a side effect okay because of code changes in one functionality of the application the remaining all functionalities of the application you are suspecting of a side effects okay for that you are you doing regression testing but in sanity testing what is the difference sanity testing only the impacted areas if you know the impacted areas uh, you don't do the complete testing of the all the areas of the application rather only you focus on uh, testing the impacted areas in depth okay whereas in regression testing all the areas of the functionality in depth okay that's the difference guys okay sanity that's why sanity testing is a subset of the regression testing but the actual question here is do we write test cases for sanity testing the simple and straightforward answer for this question is no we don't have to especially write test cases for sanity testing okay when we write test cases in a normal document okay as part of normal test case creation document we create all the test cases for each and every functionality we create the test cases in depth only right we make sure that while creating the test case document for each and every functionality we are creating the test cases in depth so as part of sanity testing you will pick that particular impacted areas from the test cases and as already the test cases are created or written in depth okay you will only execute those test cases of the functionalities where the areas of the application got impacted okay so that's the reason guys it's not specially required for you to specially create test cases for sanity testing because they are already present in the test case document that you have already written so hope guys you got the answer for this question so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question till then see you bye bye